The YouTube trust and safety team is the Taliban of the internet. They're abusive control freaks who use thug tactics to impose their stupid ideology on everyone else. But is Rumble any better? Well... YouTubers like me, who are sick to death of having our content banned by egomaniacal morons pushing a delete button from the comfort of their safe spaces, are still searching for the ever-elusive viable alternative platform. Obviously, there are plenty of alternatives to YouTube. The problem is that, for various reasons, the alternative platforms aren't as good as YouTube. And that's saying something, because YouTube has terrible policies enforced by terrible people following the orders of terrible leaders who are puppets of terrible ideologies. I've been posting videos on YouTube for well over a decade, and the platform and policies and censorship have gotten worse every single year. So, why are we still on the platform? Well, if your goal is to share information with people around the world through videos, YouTube is still the best way to do that. We put up with endless abuse from the Orwellian trust and safety team because we really like being able to share our thoughts instantly with people from 80 or 90 different countries. In other words, I put up with total nonsense from total morons for you. Now, some of you will say, well, if you have a problem with the platform, you shouldn't be on the platform. I think that's silly. It reminds me of people who say, if you're going to complain about the government, why don't you go find another country? Why would having a problem with the government mean that I should leave the country? Why wouldn't it mean that I should stay in the country, but work with others to try to change what I don't like? Similarly, if I have a problem with the ridiculous policies and leadership at YouTube, why shouldn't I remain on the platform, but keep pointing out the problems, hoping that YouTube eventually decides to make the platform better instead of worse? The point here is that you have to be careful with the I don't like this so I'm gone policy. Not a good policy in life. Sometimes you put up with things you don't like for the sake of other things that you do like. With that said, there are limits. That's why I'm no longer on Facebook. There does come a time when you say, being on this platform is no longer worth it to me, so I'm going somewhere else. This is why disgruntled YouTubers are always on the lookout for good alternative platforms. The general approach right now for most of us is that we're still on YouTube, but we also post our content on some other platforms, hoping that one of these other platforms will eventually become a serious alternative to YouTube. This brings us to Rumble. Rumble regularly boasts about being the free speech alternative to YouTube. A lot of us are sick of being censored by bots and morons who don't understand anything we're saying. So, like many others, I started posting videos on Rumble in December of 2020. I stopped using Rumble after about three months. Why? Because of two major problems with the platform. Before we look at those two problems, a word of warning and an effortless transition to a product everyone should be using. If you watch my videos, you're probably on the internet quite a bit, like me. And like me until recently, you may be pretty stupid about internet security. There are people and companies who are constantly trying to steal your data, your personal information, your passwords. There are companies that are tracking what you do online so that they can sell that information to the highest bidder. I'm just going to say it. Using the internet without a VPN is like going to a $10 prostitute without a condom. It's stupid and disgusting and really, really dangerous, not to mention immoral. I know what I said. I meant it. The internet is that bad in 2022. When you go online, you need a VPN, a virtual private network. So click on the link in the description box and get a subscription to Atlas VPN. It's what I use. Atlas VPN is the best VPN deal on the market. 
Developed by top cybersecurity experts and IT engineers, it sends all of your internet traffic through an encryption tunnel. It hides your IP address, even if you're using public Wi-Fi. It blocks malicious links, ads, and trackers. It monitors data breaches and warns you if your personal information or passwords have been compromised. In other words, it keeps you safe from bad people who want to steal your stuff. If you sign up now, you can be fully protected for just $1.99 per month. That covers all of your devices with one subscription. So click the link in the description box, download the app, get a subscription, and turn it on. Going from horribly exposed to extremely safe will only take you a couple of minutes. So get Atlas VPN and practice safe surfing. Now, what's wrong with Rumble? that makes it worse than YouTube. Why did I give up on Rumble after spending just three months on the platform? Two main reasons. First, Rumble gives creators zero assurance that our channels won't be terminated. Let's read the policy in the terms and conditions. Rumble reserves the right in its sole discretion to terminate your access to the Rumble service with or without notice for any reason, including without limitation, if Rumble believes that you have violated or acted inconsistently with the letter or spirit of these terms of use or the agency agreement. This includes Rumble's right to terminate your ability to upload videos, post comments, collect revenue, or any function available via the Rumble service. Rumble can terminate your channel for any reason, with or without notice. So you could dedicate years of your life to making content and posting it on Rumble, only to wake up one morning and find that your entire channel, without warning, without explanation, is gone. Lest you think that they only put this in their terms and conditions to protect themselves legally, but that they wouldn't actually terminate channels without notice for any reason, I have to point out that they did terminate the Spin and Remixes channel without warning. Spin and Remixes, Apologetics with a Beat, is a Christian musician who turns whatever points he's making into songs. Great channel. He's the one who made the We're Proud of That song I sometimes use at the end of my videos. He joined Rumble around the same time I did, mainly because he was getting fed up with YouTube, as I was. Now. When someone says something stupid, Spin and Remixes will occasionally make a song out of it. Early last year, Steve Harvey said something really stupid. He went to the United Arab Emirates, and because they rolled out the red carpet for him, since he's a celebrity, he announced that he has concluded that Islam is a religion of peace. That is very silly reasoning. Why? Well, you can meet very nice Muslims, you can meet very mean Muslims. You can meet very nice Christians. You can meet very mean Christians. You can meet very nice atheists. You can meet very mean atheists. You can't conclude based on the particular people you meet what the religion or ideology teaches. To make this point, Spin and Remixes made a song out of what Steve Harvey said and raised the issue, what if Steve Harvey had instead met some ISIS jihadis? What would he conclude then? perfectly reasonable point to make. Spin and Remixes exposed some sloppy thinking through a song. Because of that video, Rumble terminated his entire channel without warning, without explanation, without any opportunity to appeal. But guess what? Spin and Remixes is still on YouTube. So he was treated worse by Rumble than he's been treated by YouTube. When Rumble terminates channels without warning, without explanation, doesn't give me much confidence that YouTubers should try moving to Rumble. And I just have to say, if making fun of Steve Harvey for saying something stupid is too much for Rumble, is it really the free speech alternative to YouTube? Second, Rumble is worse, much worse, about shadow banning content than YouTube is. Rumble will shadow ban a video simply for containing some random word. And this makes it very difficult to grow on Rumble. Let me give two examples so you can see exactly what I mean. In 2020, I posted a video titled Orwell's Review of Hitler's Mein Kampf, 
a lesson for today. As you can see, the video has around 860,000 views on YouTube. The same video on Rumble has 1,205 views. Now, you may be thinking, but David, you have far more subscribers on YouTube than you have on Rumble. True, but that's not the problem here. When we go to audience in YouTube analytics, we see that 86% of the watch time on this video is from non-subscribers. So the vast majority of people who watched this video were not my subscribers. How did they see my video? YouTube recommended it and people watched it. And I got a lot of new subscribers from this video. In fact, I got 7,800 new subscribers from this one video. That's how YouTube channels grow. If you make a good video, YouTube will recommend your video to other people. Other people will watch your video and they'll subscribe to your channel because they like your video. Why is the same video stuck at 1,205 views on Rumble? Because it's shadow banned. You can search for this video by name, by keywords, whatever, you get nothing. Most videos I post will come up in a search, but certain videos are shadow banned, presumably because of something like Hitler or Mein Kampf in the title, even though the point of the video is George Orwell's brilliant explanation of why people like Hitler rise to power. You can't find this video by searching for it on Rumble. Rumble will never recommend it to you, no matter how many George Orwell videos you watch. The only way to find this video on Rumble is to already be one of my subscribers. In other words, a video that will get me close to a million views and thousands of new subscribers on YouTube will get me a little over a thousand views and zero subscribers on Rumble. And this isn't a fluke. Here's another example. Last year, I posted a video titled Making Sense of the Ravi Zacharias Scandal. It got a little over half a million views on YouTube. The same video got 1,741 views on Rumble. Here again, but David, you have way more subscribers on YouTube. And here again, not the problem. We go to audience and find that 59% of watch time on the video is from non-subscribers. YouTube recommended my video to other people. People liked the video. And what happened? The video got me 4,600 new subscribers. This is how YouTube channels grow. The same video on Rumble is shadow banned. You can search for the video by title or keyword and you get nothing. It's like it doesn't exist. Rumble will never recommend the video to anyone. The only way you'll ever find this video is if you're already one of my subscribers. Now, why is this video shadow banned? Is it the word scandal? I have no idea. But the bottom line is that videos that will blow up your channel on YouTube will go absolutely nowhere on Rumble. So this isn't a case of my videos doing so much better on YouTube because I have so many subscribers on YouTube. It's a case of me having way more subscribers on YouTube because way more people watch my videos and subscribe on YouTube because YouTube has a much better system for recommending content to people. Why would I spend days working on a video until I get it exactly the way I want it, only to see it go absolutely nowhere on Rumble? I wouldn't do it. Rumble does not reward hard work on the platform. And until that changes, Rumble will never be as good as YouTube, no matter how horribly YouTube treats content creators. This isn't to say, of course, that Rumble can't become better by fixing these problems. Rumble can always make better policies. But the overall trend in social media is that platforms get worse over time, not better. Again, I've been on YouTube since 2009, and it's gotten worse every single year. The reason is that the more popular a platform becomes, the more advertising money comes in. And the more advertising money that's coming in, the more the platform wants to keep the advertising agencies happy. And those advertising agencies always, always, always eventually want to start controlling what can be said on the platform. So not looking good for Rumble. Any platform can call itself the free speech alternative to YouTube. 
just as I can call myself the king of Jupiter. But you don't become the free speech alternative to YouTube just by saying it. I haven't posted on Rumble in more than a year, and until they do some sort of massive overhaul of their system, I'm just not interested in posting on the platform. Except this video. I am going to post this video on Rumble. What's the long-term plan for us, given that all of the major platforms keep getting worse? Seems like we may just need our own platform, one that we control. But we'll talk about that in a different video.